Number 11 then from the 2017 Mathematics and Mechanics. A little tiddler of a question here for five marks. And these five marks now take the total marks to just over halfway to 53 out of the 100. Notice it took up to question 11 to do that. There are 17 questions. That means the remaining six questions carry half the marks. So it's like the turning point at which they're probably going to get a bit more difficult. So this is the last little bit of light relief. A curve is defined by this implicit equation here, which is can't write explicitly in terms of y equals some function of x. Use implicit differentiation to find the gradient of the tangent to that when x is 2. And of course, we've got these little usual disclaimers here, which of course can also be useful in selecting appropriate values. Right, so gradient, differentiate. Differentiate those three terms. Y is a function of X. So when you differentiate this, you're really differentiating a function of a function. Multiplied by the power, so it's 6 times Y to the power 1, which I didn't write. But multiplied by the derivative of that inner function there of Y, which is dy by dx. Minus, now you've got a product. Differentiate the 2X. Leave that one alone. Now leave the first one alone, which order you want. Now differentiate this. And, of course, differentiating the constant goes to zero. Now there's two marks. One for differentiating this term, and they threw the constant in at the same time, and one for differentiating the product. The next mark is just for bringing it all together. So there's two terms in dy by dx. I've got a 6y minus an x squared. So I've got that lots of dy by dx, and the minus 2xy going to go across as 2xy. Tidy it up now, and of course this will be the expression for the gradient. 2xy over 6y minus x squared for the third mark. Now it's just a case of putting the values. You know the value of x, you don't know the corresponding value of y. So you'll have to pop it into this then. So you've got this. 3y squared minus, now if x is 2, 2 squared times y equals 4. Well, there's a quadratic in y squared. 3y squared minus 4y minus 4 equals 0. Factorise that. Must be 3y times y. Could be 1 times 4 or 2 times 2. Difference of 4 when one of them gets multiplied by 3. Well, that must be the 2, 2. Don't need that now. Middle term's negative, so the larger one's negative. Gives you two possibilities. Y equals negative two-thirds, or Y equals two. However, this says Y has to be greater than this amount. Only well, the significant thing there is it's positive. So that means Y is equal to two. I'll give the reason, because Y is greater than or equal to two upon root three. So there's a mark for going through finding Y and selecting the appropriate value. Although they've thrown that into the last mark as well. So what's the gradient? Now you just put it all together. So it's 2 times x was 2, y was 2, over 6 times y was 2, x was 2. You can't get them confused, they're all the same thing. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 12 take away 4 is 8. Oh, there you go. The gradient's 1 for the final mark.